Hey everyone, it's Bass Junkie transmitting from Hamburg, Germany, back with a new video and today I want to talk about that one, one record that every record collector has and well, I'm not talking about like one record that is like canonical and that everyone like should own who has got a record collection and I'm not talking about like guilty pleasures and stuff, but I'm talking about that one record that uh, made its way into a record collection and the one who owns the collection has pretty much no idea where this record came from or where he or she acquired it and actually has not even an idea why it is in the collection and um, i will talk about my record of that kind uh, for sure in a minute but uh, just to make my my point clear here is that i'm pretty much organized in terms of uh, my record collection I got like label sections and like sections for specific projects and producers I like and I've got a lot of like style like sections so maybe I'm gonna show you this. So for example here I got a large section of like UK garage and here is like niche which is like a bit of speed garage thing. Here's label sections, black ops, black ops is more a production crew. Roll Deep is a crime crew, Rough Squad is a crime crew, Arwina is more like a record label, so Solid is a crew, Sublow is more style-wise, here are clean cards locked on, Breakbeat Garage, all that stuff belongs together, here's like more labels, Casual, here's a grime section, Dubstep, here are the grime and dubstep labels, over here we got like Heavy Hardcore, Breakbeat Old School, Hip House, Acid House, there's XL Recordings is a, is, is a like label which I like connect to these styles and here's a, a large pile of house, here's a, one label down here is like pretty much one box of drum and bass, another box of drum and bass there's some piles of drum and bass as well, Electronica, Warp Recording, Scam, it's more of the Anarchic stuff, more labels, post rock, all, all that stuff that kind of like belongs together. Here's Blueprint as a techno label, Highball, consequently, are more the German techno labels apart from Blueprint, but this is more one of a harder label. Central District, Shark. Here's a whole box of Poker Flat, Steve Buck's label. Tissou recordings, also Steve Buck's Audiomatique, more experimental music over here, Electro, Boys Noise, here's one record I posted on Instagram recently, which is a test press of the first Boys Noise record of his label, here's more the Electro, Electro Clash stuff, down here is like Forcing Mill Plateau, Position Chrome, which is a drum and bass label, down here is also stuff. So as you can see I'm pretty much organized in terms of, of record labels and stuff and this comes mainly because I work in a record store for 18 years right now as you know and so I'm pretty good in like remembering record labels and remembering where I got records from and where I stored them but there's one record I have no idea and another point is well I don't like buy records in bulk. I used to do that when I started, when I was like 14 or 15 I didn't have much money so there was one record that I shopped at and they offered like a pile of 20 records in a box so you couldn't couldn't like see what is in there which was only labeled with like experimental electronics and they offered that for like 40, 40 Deutschmarks back then. So I purchased like a few of these boxes but I don't do this no more and <coughs> I don't buy whole collections and stuff and I don't go to flea markets that often and if I do I spend like only like 5 or 10 euros so I pretty much have an idea where every record came from or might have come from and I have collected some from people who had records in the past like the parents of former girlfriends maybe which figured out like when I was uh, with their daughters back in the days that I was a DJ and so they dumped a like maybe 20 or 30 records at my place and I could like pick from their stuff what I what I'd like to have and stuff so 
So I have a pretty good idea where all my 5000 plus records come from, but there's one record and I will show you this record right now. And I have no idea, and this is not a guilty pleasure, but I have no idea where this record came from and why, why I do own this. And this is this little baby. And QOTB, New Kids on the Block. If you go away, it's, it's a ballad, and on the B side is Call It What You Want, the CNC Pump It Up mix. And when this came out back in 91, I was 13 years old. I was never a guy for mainstream, mainstream pop, and I was never a guy for like radio pop, and I was never into boy groups and stuff. So um, and at that time, I was listening to a lot of techno and acid house. And, well, I discovered that when I was like pretty, pretty young, as you know. So this does not match any of my musical tastes, and I, I'm pretty sure I didn't buy this in a in a flea market collecting session or whatever and I didn't buy this in a record store and I don't remember that someone gave it to me so this is one pretty mysterious record I will show you the label here on Columbia New Kids on the Block If You Go Away that pretty cheesy ballad which um, I don't have any clue where this might have come from but I know at least what, why I kept it and the reason I kept it is like usually when I acquire stuff in the flea market and for like 10, 10 p or like 20 p each and I go like and buy for 5 euro and if there's something I don't like which seemed like from the cover interesting to me or something like that I give it away or like I give it to people that I think might enjoy that but the reason I kept this one is the flip side they call it what you want the CNC pump mix, which is pretty much up tempo with a four to the floor like foundation and stuff, and the CNC guys on here are pretty much the guys who did CNC Music Factory. Gonna make you sweat, everybody dance now. That big anthem, you know, ba 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 ba. There's everybody dance now thing everybody knows and stuff and which is has been now used in advertising in Germany again so this is more like early Euro dance I wouldn't call it like exactly house although disco fast at house but it's not that housey enough but it's it's pretty much in the vein of that early Euro dance stuff which was pretty good and there's a a kind of rap not real rap but like a hip hop -y rap vocal section in that in that tune so which is pretty decent and it's not that boy group boy group ish as new kids on the block used to be or at least i remember them to be because i never actually listened to uh, to their songs and in comparison to to the original of if you go away which is more like a very cheesy broken hearted teen girl ballad this is a pretty good remix effort so this is the reason why I keep this record. I would never play that out, I guess. Maybe, well, maybe I should do like a Eurodance mix just for Mixcloud, for, just for the lulls. But um, yeah, this is uh, one, one of my records. I don't have any idea where they come from. And there are not many of these records in my collection. I have like maybe three or four. I don't really know, or I'm not really sure if I got them from this place or that place, but with most of the records I even remember the record store or the situation I bought them so even if it's 5000 plus so I'm curious about what is uh, if you don't buy records in bulk and or not go to uh, like garage sales and buy like 100 records for 100 or for 50 bucks or something like that just let me know what is your record you don't remember where it's from and let me know why you keep it so this is a question that definitely goes out to the vinyl community and like all my friends out there but also to the other viewers maybe if you are like collecting records and stuff so I'm curious about your stories and about your weird records you don't know where they come from so it's just a short short video for today and I hope you enjoyed that and I hope to see a lot of comments on this question so where's the stuff from 
in my comment section and I hope you're gonna subscribe to this channel because you like what I uh, what I do and stuff and what I show and I'm gonna see you in the next one I guess see you later